What is going on guys welcome back to another video I hope you are having an amazing day in today's video we are going to be taking a look at pixel ported android q beta 6 the finer version of the betas for the android q android 10 whatever you may call it and pretty much we would be getting an official android q release in up to two to three weeks coming but until then we just have this final release so again it doesn't have the newer easter egg or something it's still in beta so again there are quite a few bugs over here but to be honest as on my redmi note 5 pro it runs pretty great like pretty much everything is working right over here from the always on display to all the sensors so it's pretty amazing experience if you are going to install on your phone like irfan is doing such a great job with this gsr he updates like pretty much the next second that they are released so again hats off to him Again, you can install this on any kind of A partition, A B partition or system as root phone. You have to just grab a Pi vendor and it should actually boot. Again, I made an installation video so you can just press the I button right over here. And then pretty much there is nothing changed over here. It's just a revision of Android beta 5. So pretty much looking at the home screen, you might feel one change. There is no nav bar. So the number over here does get hidden on the home screen, but you can actually just toggle it right by going to the app screen. Going back, it just hides itself. Pretty much a very clean look. Again, if you want to summon the Google Assistant, you can always do that from the sides, I guess. Nope. Yep, there you go. Like the gestures are still glitchy completely. They don't actually work that great. Wow, that was pretty good. Is it going to just report me to Sundar Pichai or something? Going back, again it has a complete support for Gcam 6.3 so if you haven't already tested it, you can just flash this GSR and pretty much everything will work fine. So again going through the UI, the UI experience is very fluid and just completely amazing. Like if Pixel 4s are removed to be coming with 90Hz panel and if it's true, it's a complete trip to use it. Like I've been using this GSI on my Redmi Note 7 Pro with the 70Hz screen mod, it's just a trip. You can follow me on Instagram for more updates about it. and. Just taking a look over here, quick settings panel, pretty much normal stuff. You get silent notifications and the normal notifications completely dissected. So coming back to the home, I already talked about the gesture. So going through the apps, pretty much all the apps are still the same. So going to the settings, as I told you guys, it's just a revision of the previous beta. So they remade some of the icons. So for example, if you just go to the power menu now, there are some commands that you can actually just rotate this thing to anywhere like top of the screen bottom. I haven't already checked it, but as you can see, there is a new emergency button right over there. And it's a lot minimalistic to be honest. Coming back to the settings, you can identify the music around you. Yup, it gets all the pixel features and they do work great. Again, these features depend on your vendor. So again, you have to just choose a good vendor for it. Pixel Experience Cap or Mac AOSP vendors do actually work great. So again, you have Fusion settings over here, which are just for the developers. Don't touch them. Coming back, if you go down, battery, you have battery percentage, adaptive battery, everything working right over here. So coming now directly to the display, you have dark theme and pretty much all the features are still the same. You have lock screen display right over here. You can quickly jump onto the always on display too and they do work on the Redmi Note 5 Pro, which is again great and it's pretty handy, but I really don't recommending it using on an LCD display as I did got a temporary burn in from these sides. I mean, it's still there. You can't actually make it through the camera, but there are like four lines through all of the corners. So I really don't recommend using on the LCD panel. So directly turning it off and then you have no playing. There is still no lock screen customization right over here. So I mean, I guess Google just can't make the Android perfect. Like if you just take a look at the One UI and stuff, they are just so much greater. Like even OnePlus Auction OS, it has great optimization. One UI has great customization. Like you even get simpler things like always on display toggle on the quick settings panel. We don't have that on stock Android. So coming back to the dark theme, even if you enable it, it's complete black, but it doesn't work that great as of the beta five. So for example, in beta five, you got an option called override force dark. There you go. Even if you enable it now, the feature doesn't actually work that great. So for example, in previous beta apps, like even Instagram would actually turn completely black, but now it just still stays the same. Even if you go to the other apps like Google now, it will completely go dark and wow, why did it just access the Google assistant? It will now completely go dark, but pretty much most of the Google apps don't even support it. Like even Chrome, nothing at all. Google app, nothing at all. But many of the third party apps still actually support this like the Mi store, I guess. There you go, got it later. I mean, I guess it's a bit glitchy, but still works. Then again, MI community app. Again, completely turns dark, supports it cause MIUI does support it itself. So again, this option is a bit glitchy, but still gets the job done. Coming back to another feature, there is pretty much nothing at all over here. Everything is just the same. You do get sounds updated through the Play Store. So that's pretty new that I learned. Even going to the security, you have pixel imprint completely working. So let me just set up that quickly. Again, all of the hardware features are very vendor dependent. So you have to just choose your vendor wisely. And then again, let me just tap the sensor right there. It's pretty fast to be honest. 
when compared to Android Oreo or Android Pie. Coming back to the lock screen, as you can see, the font has been updated with a shadow, which is pretty great. So again, unlocking pretty cool. Even if you go to the smart lock, you will have trusted face, which is like kind of face unlocked, but you can't actually trust it, even though it says trusted face. So coming back, you have accessibility, digital well-being and parental controls have been now completely combined over here. Now it looks pretty ugly right over there. You can completely set up your digital well-being right over here or the parental controls. Now, I really don't like the idea of it. Like it looks pretty ugly right over here, just a massive text. But now directly going to the system, advanced, you have system update, Android version 10, August 5 patch, the latest and the greatest. So directly going through the gestures, you still have your normal stuff. Now, depending on the vendor, you can also get swipe up on the notifications, but directly going to the system navigation, you still have your three button, two buttons on the gesture navigation. Now we will see. Now, as you can see, it also shows a preview right over there, which is pretty great. Wow. Again, I have to actually mute all of my 16 phones. Now everyone is shouting like at the same time. But directly going to the setting, now you have back sensitivity. Now it doesn't do jack shit at all. I previously thought setting it on the lowest, it will actually enhance the peaking ability. So for example, if I now just go to the play store, if I hold out, it still goes to back. I can't peak. Nope. There you go. Finally peaked. Now Google has said that there is a 200 dp setting over here in which it activates, but still even at the middle point, yep, it only works in the middle. So again, keeping it on the lowest does actually help in picking, but I can't imagine setting it on high. It would be a mess. But coming back, going to the about phone section, you have Android version 10. Just the Easter egg is still the older one. So official releases will actually have the newer Easter egg with the source codes and Pixel 4. Then again, you have Google Play System update. So again, as this is Android Q, you would be getting security patches through the Play Store, which is again, one of the greatest features of Android Q. But they have completely replaced the mainline module version or the mainline software updates, which was just completely confusing itself. So again, now you will have the year and the month right over here which is pretty great. And yeah, guys, that's pretty much it for the Pixel Q ported beta GSI. Again, if you have any questions about it, let me know in the comment section below and I will try my best to reply them and see you guys in the next one. Peace. Subscribe down there for the official release.